In this video, we're going to look a little bit more directly about the difference between ratio and interval level of measurement. We said in the last video, a good test for which one it is, is if it's ratio, then zero should mean nothing. Absolutely nothing. So, for example, if you have zero dollars, then you have no dollars. So, money is at the ratio level of measurement. On the other hand, if it's zero degrees outside, then there's still a temperature outside. So, temperature is at the interval level of measurement. Just to give you one more example of something that's interval but not ratio, uh, let's say days of the month. So you've got the first, the second, the third, and so on and so forth. This is at the interval level of measurement because if I take the tenth versus the twentieth, the difference, remember for interval differences mean something, for ratio then ratios mean something. The difference between ten and twenty is ten. And sure enough, the 20th of the month is 10 days after the 10th of the month. So this difference means something, and we have interval level. On the other hand, the ratio is 2, and the 20th day of the month really isn't 2 times the 10th day of the month in any sense. So it's not a ratio level thing. It's just an interval level thing. All right. Well, what can you do with this statistically? We haven't actually got to mean, median, and mode yet, but uh, let me go ahead and give you a preview and say you can do means, medians, modes, everything for both of these, for ratio and interval. You're okay. Well, is ratio really better than interval? For statistics purposes, Really, there's almost no difference between the two. Pretty much anything you can do for ratio level, you can also do for interval level. In fact, the first step in a lot of hypothesis testing is to drop out of ratio and turn it into intervals. So when we get to hypothesis testing later, The first step to a lot of problems is make the mean equal to zero. Well, when you make the mean equal to zero, all of a sudden the zero does not mean absolutely nothing anymore. If it did before, now it doesn't. So the first thing you're doing is taking your nice ratio level classification you had and replacing it with an interval level. But that's okay, it all works out fine. So, for statistics purposes, ratio and interval, both of them, you can do anything you want to.